So 10 days after the election, I thought it might be a good idea to revisit some of the more popular talking points or myths, depending on your point of view, coming out of the mainstream media about the election. Some of these talking points are the result of the media jumping to conclusions based on incomplete data, and others are based on narratives about certain types of voters that the mainstream media seems unwilling to give up. So let's take a look at some of these myths. Myth number one, voter turnout was way down compared to 2012. Well, not really. You see, ballots will continue to be counted for weeks after the general election. As far as I'm aware, Michigan still hasn't been called in favour of either candidate since it's so close. So reports that voter turnout was around 53 or 54% just after the election were wildly inaccurate. The latest data suggests it's closer to 58.2%, marginally down from 2012. But that number will probably edge up in the coming week. Even the current number shows that this election had higher turnout than the average of 57.7% for every election since World War II, and was higher than every election between 1972 and 2000. Myth number two. Trump got less votes than Romney did in 2012. Again, this was based on early vote counts immediately after the election. However, CNN's latest numbers have Trump with 61.1 million votes, approximately 200,000 more than Romney in 2012. But remember, there are still more votes to count. Cook Political Report, which prides itself on using more real-time data, has Trump at 61.6 million. So when it's all done and dusted, Trump will likely have polled at least a million more votes than Romney did in 2012. About the same difference between Romney and McCain. Myth number three. Trump voters are racist. I don't remember those kinds of charges being leveled at Mitt Romney. But if Trump voters are racist, then Romney's voters were even more so. Based on exit polls, Trump did better with black and Hispanic voters than Romney. In fact, in terms of race, Trump voters were more diverse than Romney's. Not only did Trump earn more black and Hispanic voters, he got more Asian voters than Romney, and slightly less of the white vote than Romney did in 2012. And remember, a lot of Trump voters voted for Obama twice, especially in the crucial swing states. For example, Clinton lost 2% of the white vote nationally compared to Obama, but lost 8% of the white vote in Michigan. Yes, but what about those nefarious, non-college educated white males, 72% of which voted for Trump? Obviously a bunch of racists, right? Well, if that's the case, then what does it say about the 95% of blacks that voted for Obama in 2008? Oh, that's right. Only white people can be racist. Myth number four. Trump voters are misogynist. Well, it doesn't really stack up. Trump only lost 2% of the female vote compared to Romney, but Clinton also polled a percentage point less than Obama with women. So the strategy of running for president on the platform of Because Vagina didn't convince many women. Now, I told you about the nefarious white non-college educated males, but how about the non-college educated white females? Well, they didn't particularly like Hillary either, with less than a third voting for her. In fact, as a group, more white women preferred Trump by 10 percentage points. But we all know what that means. They've just got a bad case of internalized misogyny. Myth number five. Trump voters are poor and uneducated. Now, whilst it's true that Trump voters generally have lower levels of education, it's not significantly so. For example, 45% of college graduates voted for Trump and 49% for Clinton. And the difference is not that much more significant for those with a high school diploma or less. And only about 11% of Americans have a postgraduate degree. And with respect to income, Hillary Clinton won every category under 50,000 by a significant margin, 
whilst Trump won every category over 50,000 by much smaller margins. So Hillary voters are more educated, but earn less. Could that be because many of them have worthless degrees? Think about it. Who's going to be a more productive member of society? The high school graduate that has a trade or the gender studies major that has no marketable skills? Now, as I said at the beginning, votes will continue to be counted until at least the middle of next week. And it probably won't be for weeks after that until we have a more accurate reading of the data. But hopefully this brief tour has helped dispel a few of the more common myths out there about this election.